Welcome back, Nerd Squad. Black Widow is known as a resourceful woman and a capable spy, and sometimes assassin, who uses everything at her disposal when it comes to ensuring success in her missions. Sometimes this even means using her flirting skills. And because Natasha is not just a skilled flirter when it comes to work or pleasure, but also just genuinely enjoys flirting, it's understandable that she has had many romantic interests over the years. Today we are going to be talking about some of her big romances and relationships as we count down the top 10 Black Widow love interests. And while Natasha is known as the most famous Black Widow, we also acknowledge that she's not the only one. So maybe, just maybe, we'll have some Yelena Belova also featured in this list for those who are fans of hers. In fact, if you'd like to see Yelena get a list all of her own, let us know in the comments below. Alright, let's get counting. Number 10. Deadpool. Say what? When did Black Widow and Deadpool ever have a thing? Well, okay, they didn't explicitly have a thing, but there was definitely a decent amount of flirting. And I'm not talking about Nat here, I am talking about Yelena Belova. Yelena has also gone by and goes by the alias Black Widow, and as such, I think it's only fair that we touch on some of her love life as such. I feel like Yelena does not get enough love, both in fandom and in comics, to be honest. In 2008's Deadpool issue 9, Deadpool ends up fighting Yelena, who is there as part of a team to take him into Norman Osborn. During this fight, the two flirt fiercely, though nothing ever really comes of all that flirting. All in all, Yelena actually doesn't ever seem to have much of a love life in the comics. It seems like she is usually too busy being cloned, being evil, being a successful lingerie model and business owner, or actually helping Natasha out. But there definitely were some sparks between her and Deadpool. Number 9. Doctor Doom or really Count Otto Von Doom. This romance comes to us from Neil Gaiman's alternate Marvel Universe of 1602, which if you haven't checked it out, you need to because it's great. Great writing, great art, just great. Here Natasha is a spy working for Sir Nicholas Fury and for the Queen, but she betrays the Queen and Sir Nicholas and her partner Matthew Murdock because she is in love with Count Otto Von Doom. Unfortunately, when Natasha later questions Doom's plans to sail his flying ship to the edge of the world, she is repaid for her love and loyalty by being being pushed out of the ship in response, causing her to plummet to her death. Yeesh. This is why probably Dr. Doom doesn't date a lot of people. Or does he date a lot of people? I don't think he does, really. Number 8. Tony Stark. Okay, I don't like bringing up this one as, were these two ever really in love? Well, it's debatable. But in the Ultimate Universe, Tony and Natasha end up married, and Tony even makes her a set of Iron Man armor as a wedding gift. However, it turns out that Natasha is actually still a criminal and was just pretending to be a hero and to be interested in Tony in order to complete a mission. She kills Jarvis, confesses her plot, and then fortunately is taken down by Tony and the nanotech he had put in her, which would have helped her control her suit. I don't mind the relationship between the two before this is revealed. In fact, they're even kind of cute together, but this reveal will perfectly in line with the darker, sort of more violent alternate world that is the Ultimate Universe, just kind of makes everything her character is supposed to be about, in main continuity I guess, feel kind of pointless. All in all, Black Widow to me just isn't as interesting of a character when she is a villain. And I know that's weird because I always talk about how much I love villains, but with her I actually prefer her as a neutral party or just a hero. I think that it's just more interesting for her. A spy who betrays you as her alternate in the ultimate verse implies should be expected. It's kind of boring. Number seven, Rogue. While these two really only shared one kiss in the comics, I like to think that there could be something more there. At least from Rogue's side of things. She really did seem to enjoy that kiss. Although for Black Widow, she was just passing on information. But passing on information with the real good kiss though. Like, she probably could have just touched Rogue but she kissed her. Which makes me wonder if there might be more of an attraction between Rogue and Natasha than they'd like to admit. When we're talking about Black Widow's love interests, actually, it's kind of interesting. A lot of people think of her as being a spy and having, you know, a lot of romantic partners, but Nat doesn't really open up too many, and as such, despite being around in the comics since the 60s, has really only had a few serious romantic relationships. And usually with Black Widow, it's serious, or it's work, or it's really not much of anything. Number six, Hercules. So this romance was actually smaller and less significant than most 
have implied it was. But although it was random, this relationship definitely happened. It was never as fully fleshed out or expertly built up or written as some of Natasha's other relationships. Instead, it was simply acknowledged and referred to in a few issues that make up the Avengers story known as the Korvac Saga from 1978. It's never explained how or why these two get together, and after a few issues of bickering, they kind of just break up, but it is randomly again referred to in 2010's Hercules Fall of an Avenger. So for better or worse, these two definitely hooked up at least, and then rather than continue or explain this love affair, writers simply just had them merrily go on their way to other love interests. But they still like to come back to it every now and then for some reason. Number five, Alexei Shostakov, also known formally as the Red Garden or Ronin more recently. Alexei was actually Black Widow's husband before she was Black Widow, back when we knew her by the name Natalia Romanova. Before Nat was a Russian spy and assassin, she was a famous ballerina and was married to Alexei, one of the Soviet Union military's top pilots. Without Alexei, Nat would never have even become Black Widow. He was moved to special ops, but as such was told that he would no longer be able to contact his friends or family. The Soviet Union told Natalia that Alexei had died during the testing of a rocket, which prompted her to ask what it was that she could do for her country in Alexei's memory. The KGB happily took her under their wing and began training her as a spy and assassin at the Red Room. This story would of course later be retconned, of course. Instead, we are offered in the 2005 Black Widow series an origin story where Natalia is trained from a very young age in the Black Widow Ops program, but has artificial memories of training as a ballerina implanted into her mind. And so if we're going with that version of a story, Alexei wasn't really the man who prompted her to become a spy, as she would have sort of already been trained as one without really knowing it. Still, I kind of like the original story better. Is that weird? Number four, Hulk. This one surprised many. This relationship comes to us from the MCU, and while it seems to have fizzled out, Bruce Banner's reaction to Black Widow's death in Endgame revealed that he still likely had strong romantic feelings for her. These two apparently were drawn to one another because of their pasts. They both considered themselves monstrous, and it was this connection that brought them closer together. Bruce dealing with his anger issues and Hulk, and Black Widow dealing with her past as a trained Russian spy and assassin, all the red in her ledger that we've heard so much about. Hulk spent time off world in Sakaar, and when he returned to Earth, it seemed like Bruce and Natasha were happy to see one another, but there weren't that many passionate sparks between them. A lot had changed, and it seemed that the time they had spent apart caused their relationship to fade, though I think they both still cared about each other very much, but just neither one really knew how to bring it up again. Also, Bruce kind of became like a Hulk-Bruce hybrid when he became the MCU version of Professor Hulk. Number three, Daredevil. While fans of the MCU and Marvel Netflix series may be surprised to hear this one, comic book fans will likely consider Matt Murdock one of Natasha's ultimate love interests. The bottom line is these two just felt really right together, despite being from kind of two different hero worlds. Black Widow is a former assassin turned good guy who fights on a usually very global scale, whereas Daredevil is a lawyer by day who takes his fight for justice to the streets at night and pretty much sticks to being the hero of one borough of New York, Hell's Kitchen. Natasha and Matt even both lived in San Francisco for a while together. Yeah, Natasha got Matt to move to San Francisco. Pretty crazy. Number two, Hawkeye. In the comics, these two have had a very passionate romance together and were even almost married. Both were still criminals when they met and fell in love. When Hawkeye defected and became a hero, Black Widow defected to stay with him. So what happened between them? Why didn't they get married? Well, Black Widow had a mission to complete, unsurprisingly. In many ways, missions are kind of Black Widow's number one love interest. Natasha is often depicted as being married to her work. She's very involved in making sure she completes missions. Now, the mission she was on this time caused her to have to break Hawkeye's heart, and after that mission was complete, the two never really reconciled and got back together. However, this didn't completely ruin their relationship. They're still very good friends. Number one, Winter Soldier. I mean, who else could possibly be Natasha? is number one other than her work. These two have known each other since Red Room days and are really great for one another just because they have so much in common. Bucky also seems to respect and trust Natasha like no one else. While Daredevil was often worried for her safety in their relationship and struggled with accepting that Black Widow could, you know, take care of herself, Bucky has confidence in her. He trusts that she'll ask for help when she needs it. They feel comfortable relying on one another but also trust one another enough to give each other space. 
and independence, which I think makes for the best kind of relationship in any circumstance that anyone could ask for. Trust and respect is pretty much the winning combo. Thank you so much for watching Nerd Squad. I hope you enjoyed this list and maybe learned about some Black Widow romances you didn't know about previously. Who are some of your favorite love interests for Natasha? Do you prefer it when she is just married to her work instead and doesn't really have any romantic stuff going on? And would you like more lists about Yelena Belova? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe on your way down there and ring our bell so you can stay in the know with all of the nerdiest of notifications. This has been Top 10 Nerd and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight. You stay nerdy, YouTube.